In this demonstration, I will be showing you how to use Insert Word Art. Well, what is Word Art, you might be wondering. In Microsoft Word 2007, Word Art is an excellent way that you can add some excitement to a title or any other type of text that you find in a document. Uh, one reason why you might want to insert Word Art is to make something that looks very drab a lot more exciting. So, to start with, I'm going to use this document here, which is a prefabricated science lesson for elementary students. Uh, as you can see, it's pretty blah. For little kids, you need something with a little more pizzazz to keep their attention. So, the first thing I want to do is change my title here into something that really explodes off of the page and just looks exciting. So I'm going to first highlight here my title, Crystal Creations. And now that it's highlighted, I'm going to go up here to the Insert tab on our ribbon. And I'm going to go over here to the text group, Word Art. And when I click on this drop down arrow, you'll see a whole bunch of pre-formatted Word Art styles pop up. Every single one of these is totally customizable. These are just a way to get started. Now, I'm kind of liking just this uh, very straightforward word art here. I'm going to click on that. Uh, you see when I click on this, it brings up an edit word art text dialog box. I'm not really liking this aerial black text right here. I'd like something a little more fun. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to go explore. And in the past, I've used Comic Sans. See how that looks? Eh, still pretty blah. I'm going to go here. I want something very exciting for the little ones. Ooh, Jokerman. Always good. Yeah, now we're talking. All right, so I like that, and I would like it to be just a little bit bigger. I'm going to click it up to 40. That's looking pretty good. I'm going to hit OK. Now, when I do that, you'll see that this is a little smushed. Uh, but when I click on my word art here, all I need to do to increase its size is grab the handle on the right side and drag it over. And there it is. It's stretched out. So now that it's stretched out, I like it, but it's still a little blah. So what I'm going to do is uh, when I click outside, you'll see that the box around the word art disappears. But if I click back on it, these word art handles, these little squares, reappear. Another thing is this word art tools tab and format box reappear. When I click on that, I have full capabilities to edit this word art to my heart's content. So let's get started. I would really like my word art to have some color on the inside of the words. I'm going to go to shape fill and pick a color. Oh, that's pretty cool. Mm, I like that one, but ooh, that one's pretty fun too. Excellent. Uh, I like that color. I also would like to have maybe have the outline change to a different color. That purple's pretty nice. I like that. Another thing I could do is change the shape. Now, that means I can have my word bow up. I can have it go in a straight line. I can have it bow down. And then there's all these other options. You can totally spend hours playing with this. But for right now, I'm kind of liking this double wave. Well, that looks pretty good. Uh, one last thing. I'd really like to maybe have some texture or actually a gradient involved in my text. I'm kind of liking... Uh, Let's see, I'm liking that one, that one. Hmm, how about that? Nice, excellent. There's many other things you can do. If you click in your Word Art and you're in your Word Art Tools Format button, you can go back to edit the text. It pulls that box back up. You can adjust the spacing. I would like it to look a little more loose. You can see that uh, creates a little more space between the words. Or you can make it very tight. That's a little too much for me. I guess I was pretty good with normal. Um, you can change the alignment in your text box. 
your word art box. You can also change the shadows. Now, right now, there's no shadow on this, but I might want some shadows. Again, this is a decorative element. There's no right or wrong. It's really whatever seems to work best for you. I like that one. Uh, you can do additional text effects. You can skew this. That means, uh, well, that's a little bit much. Maybe I just want it like this. Another thing is you can position your word art with this button here anywhere within your document. To do this, you just click on the position down button. This is currently where it is. You can see though, I can change wherever I would like it to be in my document. And again, this is a title, so I kind of like that. Excellent. Now, uh, that's pretty much it for my demonstration on how to insert word art. And I leave it to you to now spend some time exploring all of the many options that you have and personalizing your documents with some really fun, exciting graphic elements. Enjoy.